Rhode Island's curfew went into effect last night and is supposed to last for at least the next two weeks. Grant money has been made available to help restaurants and bars experiencing a loss in revenue, but one owner in Providence says he's being denied that money because of his efforts to keep his employees safe. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt joins us now with his story of frustration and what the state is saying in response. I reported on Nolan's Corner Pub in Providence back in March when the owner shuttered the business because of COVID-19. He reopened the middle of August, but is unsure how long that will last after being told he's ineligible for certain state assistance. On Thursday, Governor Raimondo let Rhode Islanders know about the new 10 p.m. curfew during the week and 10.30 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays, telling restaurants and bars that grant money ranging from two to $10,000 would be an application away. We'll simply need to attest, self-attest, that they were affected by the early closure. Owner of Nolan's Corner Pub, Brendan McCahey, was pleased to hear that money would be coming from the Division of Taxation within 30 days. When he went online Monday to apply, his mood quickly changed to frustration after finding out that closing Nolan's for five months this year would affect his application. But going back and looking at tax records from July, uh, August, and September, and because I was voluntarily closed in July for the public good, I'm ineligible for this grant. He quickly called Rhode Island Commerce for answers, but says the customer service rep on the other end of the phone line was unable to help. Basically, she said, yeah, I'm just going through this for the first time, and it does seem like you're ineligible. I said, who can I talk to? She says, I don't know. I reached out to Rhode Island Commerce and was referred to tax administrator Nina Savage regarding grant requirements. She responded saying, quote, restaurants such as Nolan's would be eligible for the Restore Rhode Island grant program, which is administered under the Commerce Corporation and may be eligible to receive grants up to $30,000. McCahey says that he applied for the Restore Rhode Island grant twice and was awarded $4,500 each time. He had planned on using funds from the curfew grant to pay employees who are losing money because of an earlier closing time. Don't tell me you're going to help and then pull the rug out five days later when you release this grant that's useless and not at all like the governor had said it would be on the press conference. McCahey says that as much as 90% of his sales happen after 10 p.m. He's concerned that the new curfew will result in having to close Nolan's again until spring. Reporting from the studio, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.